everyone. It's week four of David's Refuge, bringing you different interviews with amazing caregivers and local wonderful people who are showing love in all different ways. And this week, it's all about how to love your community. So I have a special guest with me today. Ms. Bobby Herod is here today. Hi, Bobby. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I'm so excited because we were just talking. Bobby, you're somewhat of a local celebrity <laughs> right now. Can you tell everyone? Um, I mean, I want to give you mad props for the recognition you just received. Uh, do you want to share um, what you just received through Syracuse University? Um, I got nominated for the 2021 Unsung Hero Award. Uh, the Unsung Hero Award is a, basically a humanitarian award that gets people recognition for the things that they do in the community that don't get a lot of recognition as they should. So I got nominated for that for me just I guess I would say just for me being Bobby, but I mean it's it's a lot to it. It's one hundred percent you being Bobby. But Bobby, what have you done? Um what have you done to show love and love to your community? Um, because all of us don't get that phone call that we won an unsung hero award. So there must be something really special that Bobby's doing that you're doing. So tell us about that. How do you show love to your community? Well, it's no secret that I'm basically a young adult that has a disability myself. I uh, suffer from cerebral palsy. I would like to say I'm an advocate for kids that suffer from my disability, but not only just my disability, but spina bifida and other mobility disabilities. And where I worked with God's Son Hospital, where we would create a week-long event for children that's in high school or like just children in general to basically create one chair adaptive sports just to get them active. But at the, for the high school kids, you have the chance to attend the week-long events to raise up to $1,000 to create adaptive sports in your high school. Because like me, growing up with a disability, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I was like singled out in gym class. Like I was in a normal gym class with all the other kids. But a lot of the kids that had disabilities in school, that had severe disabilities, I would say they weren't able to, um, how can I word this the correct way without sounding? Um, I wouldn't say that our gym classes were equipped to be able to have them interact with all the other kids. Right, right. And we, I feel like that was passionate because kids is, kids, children is children. Like everybody should be able to interact with each other no matter that's right and i want to be able to help everybody be able to interact with each other because mm. that's all right Woo. especially with social change yes now with like social activity and social is important right now absolutely absolutely and we're excited because as i mentioned before we're doing some work with adaptive inclusion um with mr payton up at galasano so we just launched a huge program so i'm feeling like you're gonna see us again mr payton we love him so i'm feeling bobby like this was meant to be you're gonna see us again we're gonna work together so just get ready for that <laughs> The, the funny thing is, I was just talking to Peyton this morning. Uh, he, he was telling me about the event that's happening, I think, next week for yeah. the winter sports. Yeah. Yeah. So so we'll talk more like, about that later. Yeah. And what would you want to say to our moms and dads through David's Refuge about getting involved in the adaptive sports? Um, what I would say is, get involved because social activity is important That's and it. to be able to be able to i can't use that word uh to be able to be a part of be, uh, accepted, be a part of stuff yeah to be active all of that. Say, so so scratch that so the 
the advice I would give to parents and adults that have kids to get active and adaptive, I would say get active because due to the pandemic, social activity is important. And social activity is what keeps us sane. So in order to help create balance within you and your kids, yeah. I would say get involved, stay active. Yeah. So Bobby, what was your reaction when you found out you were going to be winning the recipient of the Unsung Hero Award? Um, honestly, that day was just weird. Like, <laughs> I, I, normally, I normally don't answer numbers that I don't recognize. So I was sitting there just drawing on my sketchbook and me, I like to be like very much can serve when I'm creating. It allows my mind and my gears to get going. So uh, this number kept on calling me and I'm just like, <laughs> who is this? Like, who is this person? Yeah. Who, who, who? Like they called me like five times back to back. Like literally like hung up, called again, called again, hung up, called again. So I'm okay. So I finally let it go to voicemail. And then she left a message and said, this is so-and-so. I'm looking for Bobby here. I would like to congratulate you on your Unsung Hero Award. So I'm like, awesome. I didn't apply for no award, but yeah. So I called back and said, oh my God, you just won the 2021 Unsung Hero Award. I'm like, the Unsung, what is that? So amazing. Yeah, so amazing. And she told me about the nomination letter. I was like, I know where that came from. Ah, that's really special. That's really special. So, you know, Bobby, a lot of people may not know, but you're also an entrepreneur. Uh, you own your own business. And uh, do you want to share anything about your, your amazing company? Um, yeah. Uh, I own the, I own the, I would say I'm, most people would say clothing brain, but I just want to put it out there. Brecky is not just about clothes. It's, it's way bigger than clothes. It may look like a clothing brand to you guys, but really, Brecky is the artistry that I developed between art especially because I'm an artist. I consider myself an artist. I wouldn't even consider myself a clothing brand. I consider myself an artist because that's my major. Like, yeah. art is what keeps me saying that's just me. So, Brecky stands for being real extraordinary, cool you. Um, it's really just what you make of it. It's more about you being yourself, popping to your own beat, just living in your own bubble. I love yeah. it. I love it. Bop into your own beat. That's so beautiful. And that speaks on so many levels also to us as a community, as a society, finding a deeper acceptance and appreciation for everyone because of their differences, because of our similarities, because common ground is so important, wouldn't you say? I love That's, that. I would say inclusion is definitely, it's something that I'm passionate about because me, I was, I was bullied as a kid because of my disability. And with my disability, I don't know if you know about like specifics of cerebral palsy, but Cerebral palsy is a congenital muscle disease that affects your muscles and your body movements. And you can also like slobber. And as a kid, that, that was a struggle for me. And like as a kid, I would say my, my bones and my legs were a lot weaker. So I walked a lot more different than the average kid that I went to school with. And being the fact that I had, I had cerebral palsy and I drew it like, that was one of the things that like, I, I was just talking to my mom about this the other day. Like that's definitely one of the things that I would never forget in my life was being called Bobby Bobby or like people mimicking the way that I walk or the way that I ran in gym class. Like that's something that, that always plays in the back of my mind because I knew that I was different, but I never really let it affect me because I'm talking to you just like I'm normal. That's right. Like I'm normal talking to you just like that. That's I right. may stutter and pause a little bit, but that's just because it's something that I can't control. And for people that single me out because of that, just gave me the strength to be able to tell kids, like, if I could get bullied and get through it, you could get through that because 
at the end of the day, stay true to yourself and that's all you need. Mm, I love that. Such words of wisdom, Bobby. Um, Last question is, you know, there's a lot of wonderful people out there that are going to be motivated to do something this week and hopefully for weeks on end all year to do something to love and care for their community. So what would you say to someone who just doesn't know how to get started? Uh, what advice? Um, I would say start with it yourself. Put mm-hmm. yourself out there. Because if you don't know, if no one knows about what you're doing or what exactly you, know, you want to do, nobody would know how to move forward with it. So if you put yourself out there first, is how you will gain an audience. So as long as you put yourself out there and market for yourself, you, you're going to get the job done. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you so much, Bobby, for spending some time with us today and shedding such beautiful wisdom and light over our community and now to the David's Refuge community. Uh, we're so glad that you're part of our family. So thank you so much. Thank you.